What is up guys, how you all doing? My name is TheGoreHD and today I'm going to bring you guys another Scott Builder. Now today's team is just going to be a straightforward Barclays Premier League team. It's going to be a silver team and you know it just in general is an absolutely amazing squad to play with. Really really did enjoy playing with this team and you know just in general it was a fantastic team to play with. Now before we do get into today's team, I need to run through something, you know, very, very quickly, and it's got something to do with the 12 days of trading series that I have been running on my channel. Now, a lot of you have been tweeting at me, commenting on my, uh, you know, uh, last video of 12 days of trading, asking where the episodes have been. Now, basically, guys, uh, you know, I've had a huge, huge problem, and basically all of the episodes uh, building up to the last day have literally just been deleted off my PC. Not too sure what has happened, and, you know, I don't have any footage whatsoever. Uh, so I've lost all of the footage and you know basically I can't bring you guys any more episodes of that because you know <laughs> they have literally gone now uh, there was two things that I could do I could either bring you guys just the finale of the 12 days of trading because you know I have got the final amount of coins uh, you know on that other account I have finished the series so I could bring you guys a finale and just re-record that or I could just you know completely just forget about that and just bring you guys back the path to PSG series which you guys really do seem to enjoy and you know the series which you guys seem to love a lot so let me go let me know in the comments what you guys would like me to do uh, with that and um, yeah I'm not let's get straight into the squad builder so yeah starting off with the goalkeeper you can see that we do indeed have Donny Place for Liverpool, uh, not the best of keepers, I must say. He wasn't brilliant, uh, he was okay. It was some things like uh, reflexes, he was pretty decent. Handling, he seemed to be pretty good, but you know, other than that, he wasn't too great. I mean, he seemed to fail a lot with corners and just in general wasn't too great to play with. But he cost me 2,900 coins. He's pretty tall at six foot four, but you know, not too great. I suppose he's worth the 2.9k, but yeah, moving on to the first centre back, you can see that we do indeed have this player called uh, Mariapa. A place for Reading, really, really great player. The next player we have, I guess he's there, Anton Ferdinand. Again, pretty decent player. And uh, lastly, we have Basong. Now, starting off, you can see Basong, really, really fantastic player. Got 76 pace, 73 defending, and 77 heading. He cost me uh, 27,750 coins. He's six foot two, and just in general, a very, very good overpowered centre back. And you know, well worth the coins. You can see here in the centre centre back position, we do indeed have Anton Ferdinand. Again, a pretty decent player. Uh, not too great when it does come down to defending in general. He's always sliding in and all of that good stuff, but you know, not too great. You know, at standing tackles, he's not the quickest. I mean, 71 pace does seem pretty good on his card face stats, but you know, in game, he didn't seem too quick. He's pretty decent in the air, but um, yeah, he cost me 3,000 coins, and I suppose he is worth it, but definitely not the best out of the three centre backs. See, the last centre back though is indeed this Mariapa. Uh, pretty decent player, to be honest. I mean, 22,750 coins is a great, great deal for what you're getting. You see there, 77 pay, 74 defending, and 80 heading. Just that complete centre back that you really do need. And just in general, this player is absolutely incredible, guys. But either way, you can see. Moving on to the first CDM, you can see that we do indeed have this player. That is, of course, uh, Diakite. And uh, now, my word, this player is really, really, really strong. Really fantastic player in general. You can see there, he's got 78 pace, a 71 passing, 79 dribbling, and 74 defending. Uh, he stands at the six foot one, and just in general, a pretty decent player. He cost me 9.5k, and in my opinion, you know that is a fantastic deal for what you are getting in game. Really, really quality uh, centre defensive midfielder. But the next CDM we have is, of course, Gary. Gardner. Now this player has an outstanding long shot. He's not the quickest with only 69 pace but 79 shooting, 73 passing and 74 heading. It just in general this guy is absolutely amazing. Uh, DKT is more of the defending CDM but you know uh, Gardner does like to get on the attack quite a lot and just in general his long shot is just absolutely incredible. Really does have a fantastic long shot there. Move over to the right midfield you can see that we do indeed have uh, McCleary plays for Reading and this player is really really good very very underrated it uh, tends to be overlooked and a lot of people will choose other right midfielders but in my opinion McCleary is absolutely fantastic four star weak foot four star skill moves six foot two really really quick with 86 pace he's got a fantastic long shot with 67 shooting uh, 74 dribbling as well which is pretty decent and he only cost me 2.5k great great player there and a world of the coins at uh, left midfield you can see that we do indeed have El Ganassi a place for West Brom and you know really really quality Belgian player he's got 85 pace and 81 dribbling there are his two main standout stats other than that he's not too great I mean you know I was expecting uh, quite a lot from him you know seeing as uh, a lot of people do rate him on this game he's got four star skill moves but you know the only thing that he really did stand out was definitely just his pace but you know other than that his shot was pretty terrible uh, weak foot was pretty terrible uh, obviously not too great in the air only standing 5 foot 9 though you don't really expect that but yeah he cost me 10,000 coins and uh, I suppose he is worth the coins but to move on to the centre attacking midfielder 
You can see that we have Iago Falque, uh, the Tottenham Spanish CAM. Uh, this player is actually really, really good. I really do like playing uh, with uh, Falque. He's got four star skill moves and three star weak foot. His weak foot seems to be much, much more better than it does say there. Uh, four star skill moves, obviously, absolutely fantastic on a silver. He's got 77 pace, 65 shooting, 70 passing, and 81 dribbling. Now, his dribbling is just absolutely superb. It really is, guys. You can see there he cost me 8.9k, and, you know, like I was saying, his dribbling is just absolutely amazing. Absolutely outstanding uh, dribbler to play with, and just in general has a fantastic long shot and just you know a fantastic player to play with but moving on to the final two players of the team you can see that we do indeed have uh, Lukaku and as you can see there Mayuka now Mayuka first of all is got to be one of my favorite players in this game without a shadow of a doubt you can see there his standout stats are his 90 pace and his 74 dribbling but you know starting off his shot is absolutely outstanding his weak foot is just absolutely superb uh, really really great in the air really really strong obviously obviously you can see there he is extremely quick with the 90 pace and the dribbling is also just you know spot on you can see there he did indeed cost me 43,500 coins but in my opinion you know that is well worth the money i mean for what you're getting five star weak foot on a silver four star skill moves pace fantastic shot fantastic dribbler great in the air really strong you can't really go wrong but the final player of the team you can see that we do indeed have lukaku normally lukaku obviously on loan from chelsea to west brom and he's got four star weak foot and three star skill moves Obviously, it would be quite nice if we did have four star skill moves, but you know, considering we do have Mayuka with four star, that is not too bad whatsoever. Uh, Lukaku cost me 43,000 coins, and you know, he is just that perfect, complete uh, uh, striker. Really does have a fantastic shot, great in the air, really, really strong, and obviously has a little bit of pace with 81. But anyway, guys, coming to the end of the video now, this is the squad as a whole. Let me know what you guys would like me to do with the 12 days of trading issue. And um, yeah, on that, that's been it from me. If you did enjoy, obviously, likes are always appreciated. If, if we could aim for 100 likes, that would be absolutely awesome. Uh, on that, that's been it from me, and I'll catch you guys next time. See you later.